Hi guys, it's Cinema, and welcome to the Wolf's Den, or welcome back to the Wolf's Den. And today, I have a makeup review type of deal. Um, it's not new makeup, but it's new to me, obviously. Um, it's three products that I've been wanting for a while, and they've been sold out, limited edition, etc. But they came back into stock, or have were added to the permanent line. I ordered them from Beautylish because... On Beautylish, if you order $30 or more product, you get free shipping. And this person's product, two like one of them is $18. So, and I've got two of them, so already over the $30 mark. Then I got another product. So, here's my little box. Where's my address? And it took three days to ship it out via UPS. And then it took almost a week to get here. And the UPS tracking would just not update for like two days. It was really sketchy, but I've ordered from them before, so I knew it was going to get here. But it's just like, why? Um, I just got out of the shower, so my hair looks like a hot mess. If you see any purple anywhere, like dripping down, it's um because I got purple dye in my hair. You can't really see it in this light. It's that um, splat amethyst. It's splat for brunettes and purple amethyst. Um, yeah, it's, it drips and then it still like bleeds when I like rinse it out. So, like I've even got it on my pillow right here. Um, so my back of my neck is probably going to be purple tonight. But I, I always let my hair air dry. So I brushed it. But I'm going to look a little bit of a mess. Um, just like, you know, I'm going to record a few videos tonight. My parents are out of town. It's dark. There's no traffic. I turned the fan off. It's nice and cool, even though outside it is the heat index still is like 100 degrees because it we had a lot of rain yesterday and it's humid. It's crazy, but anyway, back to the makeup. I ordered three products. Um, I'm gonna try them out for you. So let's see. Are you too far away? Because I feel like you're far away. Let's see. That feels a little bit closer, a little bit better. So here we go. Beautylish. Okay, so it says it was packaged with love in Philadelphia by Nesha. I'm assuming it's spelled like Kesha but with a K or an N. Nesha, thank you. Or Nisha, however you want to say it. There's a black box of doom. Alright, I'm just going to open the black box. Let's see, there's a little tab. Okay. Alright. Let's see, you got black tissue paper. Let's get them out of this little bag. It always comes in this little black, not black, brown. I was looking at the paper when I said black. Like paper bag. Okay, and there. Then this little string. They're out of there. So, what did I get? I got the Jouer Jeffree Star collab lip topper and sweet tooth and I got two Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks they're both metallics this was part of his Christmas line so it was limited edition and this was a summer line I want to say a couple a year ago or a couple years ago called candy ass the reason why I like it because it's my it's the same color as my lips but just metallic and my favorite band is orgy so their first album was called candy ass I don't know if that's uh, an inspiration for the name or if it is a term like a naughty term I'm very like naive when it comes to those things so I don't know you can comment below with what that might mean next um, this one's poinsettia or poinsettia it depends on where you're from we say poinsettia here in North Carolina uh, there's red usually red or white flowers that you get at Christmas time that are poisonous so like if you I crack open one of the petals as a white fluid comes out. I, that always fascinated me, but then I learned it was poisonous, so I stopped doing that. You just get fake ones, that because we got the dogs and the cats, so we don't want them eating them. Um, all of these are vegan, cruelty-free, etc., etc. You know. And this is I might like. I like this one because all the swatches I saw, it was a really nice, sort of cool toned metallic red. So it's coming kind of like my Taylor Swift color. So I'm gonna swatch this one last. Do this one last because it is such a deep red. 
and then I don't know if it'll stain, but I am going to do lip topper first. Like I said, none of these are like extremely new. I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting to get them, and this was, this is like, um, not necessarily limited edition, but I was hoping that Candy S would restock, and they did, and he brought points of these to renown his permanent line, so I was like, I went ahead, went for it, got them all, very happy and excited to try it. This, I love the packaging, and it's got his autograph, like, there we go, and the Jouet logo, long wear lip talker, I can't talk, long wear lip topper with coconut oil, and it's got little stars there, and like up here, and then it's got his logo up there, and just like on the liquid lipsticks, it uh, has the star. I do have one of his liquid lipsticks in, uh, was it, Dreamhouse, the metallic, like, this color or pink, um, that takes a brave day for me to wear that because, like I said, it's so neon, which would be good for the summer. I have that, and I have the bullet lipstick in Beauty Pageant, which is the glittery one, and I really, I use that one a lot, but, um, yeah, I was excited to try the Jouer one, so, I really like this packaging, it is really pretty. Let's see. It's, like I said, it's called Sweet Tooth, and it says, Long wear lip topper with coconut oil. This weightless lip topper instantly refreshes and adds shimmer to your favorite lip color. Wear alone or pair with Jouer long wear lip cream. And I think when he was swatching it, he said it does work with his as well, like his lipsticks. Um, I'll just be wearing it by itself, probably. But I think this, oh gosh, my cam my camera's not doing it. It is so sparkly. It's like a metallic pink, kind of like that dream house um, shade. Like It's like almost this color pink with iridescent and pink glitter. I mean, oh my gosh. And it's like a light baby pink chrome lid and then his logo. And I don't know what this indigenous is for. I wonder if you can like slide the lipsticks together and like keep them together. Kind of like the Fenty ones are magnetic. Let's give this a whirl and see how it does. Oh! Dude, smell that! I know you can't smell. Maybe one day there'll be smell vision. Oh my god, it smells like cake mix, like raw cake mix that you're not supposed to eat, but everybody does anyway. God, it smells good. Oh, I want to eat it. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, I guess I should do some swatches on my hand. Let's see. I'm terrible at aiming with this. Now, this is not going to be like a opaque type of deal. It is just a like, shimmer glossy type thing. Um, it's not going to dry down. So, oh, that's pretty. Can you see it? It's almost like his highlighter, like, you know how he has it blinding highlighters? It's like he took that and put it in a, a slightly a colored lip gloss. I mean, dude, that is... I wish you could see the glitter. I mean, it is amazing. Oh, I want to put this on my lips. Get my mirror. I need to paint it. I got the, my dad cut this for me at a yard sale. Somebody just already painted it once but I want to redo it, and I've got some silver paint and holographic glitter. I'm going to Mod Podge onto it, so yeah. But I really like it. It was cheap, it was like a quarter, I mean, whatever. All right, applying it. Oh, I can't get over the smell, it is so good. It is very strong, so if you do not like scents or are sensitive, Maybe it's not for you. I don't know how long that would last on your lips, but it is very strong. Huh. Oh, I don't know my tooth. I got it on my tooth, so I, I kind of like sort of licked it off. It tastes like freaking cake mix, too. It is a little bit brighter than my lip color, but that's fine. It's not like 
some like it's not too bold the glitter you can't feel it it feels very comfortable very light it is oily ish um it doesn't bother me it's a lip gloss so i'm not expecting it to be anything less than oily oh it feels very like moisturizing though it was easy to apply I just, I'm just I'm just hypnotized by the glitter so sorry oh let's see so you can see the lip movements are a little bit brighter but I can't so you can see the reflection in the glitter god I wish I had better lighting I this is a um 10 out of 10 would recommend if you're looking for a nice kind of sheer with a, just a little bit of color um, lip gloss that has a lot of glitter in it this is really pretty it'd be great for the summer it smells great I will be using this a lot I'll be keeping this with me at all times excellent and if they have some left when I run out I will get another one back in the packaging you go for safekeeping because I always keep the packaging I'm like a packaging whore that way, if like something doesn't work out that good, like the Kat Von D Alchemist palette, um, I'm not going to talk about the drama that's been going on with her, but um, I thought it was going to be this amazing highlighter palette and pigmented and not, and I had to really dig in to get pigment, unless I wet my um brush. So I really don't use it. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Moonchild palette. I wanted the Aurora one because I live in Aurora, North Carolina, but they didn't have it. They were sold out, so I got Moonchild one. And that one is much, much better. So, but a neat trick you can use it for is if you paint your nails like black or a dark color, when they're a little bit tacky still, take your finger and pick whatever color highlighter you want and press it on your nails. And it'll give this cool, and you can use it, and then seal it with a top coat, and it'll give you this cool, like, holographic chrome effect on your nails. Pretty darn nifty. This does transfer, because I accidentally had my hands like this, and I, it stuck on, but, yeah. Mm. Alright, I'm in love with this. Oh my gosh. You may still see some glitter on my lips. That's okay. I don't have any other makeup on, obviously. Um. But, if you see glitter, that's where it's from. I'm going to go with Candy Ass next. This, like I said, it's very close to my lip color. Let's see if it, there we go. It's a little bit darker, um, but it's metallic. And they are liquid to matte. Both of these are liquid to matte formulas. Oops, sorry. I dropped you long-lasting extreme beauty matte finish cruelty-free vegan shake for five seconds apply to bare lips and let dry for 60 seconds all right one two three four five all right what, do you smell like anything oh it smells like pez oh smell it smell that oh my god that's really, that's really, oh my god. Okay, let me see if I can swatch it. This is a very, like, kind of like the dream house shade. It's like a whipped formula, it looks like. Okay. There we go. It is metallic. It's not, like, as opaque as his, like, matte liquid lipsticks like this one would take probably a couple of layers to get like full coverage but we'll see I'm gonna try it out while this dries down
trying to see if I need two codes, because it doesn't want Yeah, if you want it more opaque, you're going to definitely need two coats. Um, but I don't mind if just the one coat. It's fine for me. So here is Candy Ass. Like I said, very close to my natural lip color. I feel like getting tacky and drying down. Of course, I get the hiccups. Very lightweight. Um, it doesn't feel drying at all. Of course, I haven't like worn it for hours, so I don't know about that. Um, maybe I'll update in the, like the description box and tell you guys or comment down below. Um, yeah, I like this one a lot. I think this one's gonna be going with me, and I really think this would look good on top of this if you want like a little extra pizzazz. I think it would look really cool because I mean the tones are very similar. This one's just not as opaque as this one is. But if you want some more glitter, put this on top. It just won't be matte. From this one, 10 out of 10. The last one is the red one, which I'm kind of nervous about because red is a very bold color for me. Even though I wear like teals and like weird purples, I'm scared of red because like my teeth aren't the best shade of white. <laughs> but it's a, more of a cool tone red from what I was able to see. So hopefully it'll work. All right, let's see. All right, got nothing on his hands. So I'm gonna try to see if it's dried down enough. It's been about 60 seconds, all right? Me running my mouth. Nothing. Boop. There's a little bit of glitter on the bottom, like where I had, like I said, tapped my hands together off screen, but no color transfer. That's pretty, pretty cool. God, that's pretty. Poinsettia. Come on out, girl. Come play. All right. Here is what it looks like in the tube. Because it is, it's, to me, it looks like a more cool tone metallic red. So, and that's what it looked like on him when he swatched it. Like, I don't really have anything. It's supposed to be bright red like this but with glitter in it <laughs> so we'll see about that oh I'm just watch first sorry getting ahead of the game mm, I just watched it on my nose well if you want to make yourself look like you have a, like a glamorous nose bleed that is the way to do it okay it's gone I'll say dang it I just took a bath all right this one also looks like more of a whipped formula. I don't know if all of his metallics are like that. If you have other ones and it's not like a whipped formula, let me know. But it's a very comfortable formula. All right, there we go. There's that bright red. I know it looks more warm toned with this lighting, but I really like the combination. I think even the lip topper would look good on this if you wanted to just add it up a little bit too. I think it would look good with either one of these. It just wouldn't be matte after you put it on. All right, let's see. This is another scent, but it's not like a candy scent or a creamsicle scent or any of the ones that he's... It almost has a floral scent. I can't remember what poinsettias smell like. Maybe that's what it's supposed to smell like. But it does have like a slight, very, very slight floral scent. It is not strong. Um, the sweet tooth is very strong. The candy ass was um, not quite as strong. Um, that one, I think if you're sensitive to smell, I think that one would be okay for you. This one, you can barely smell it. Like I said, it's got like a floral -y vibe to it. So, let the play.
Reds are so tricky because you've got to stay inside the lines, so to speak. Okay. I'm going to do one more coat on the top. Oh, I, I forgot to shake it. My bad. Okay. So right now it's still drying down. Like It feels just like the other one. Very light. Um, doesn't feel drying. They actually feel very like moisturizing. I don't know if they have coconut oil in them. Doesn't say it, but they don't, don't feel drying, which is really good. Okay, this isn't like as like bizarre as I thought it was gonna be for me. It actually looks really good. So. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Is it Taylor Swift approved? I really like it. Um, It's not as bright as I thought it was gonna be, but that's fine. Um, so I'm going to give this like an, an 8 out of 10. I really still like the shade. But yeah, it's not quite like fire engine red. It's a little bit darker than that. And the metallic, um, the glitter in it is very subtle. Like in the other one, it had a lot of like pink and like um, iridescent glitter in it. So this one just has a lot of gold and red glitter. So it kind of, it blends more with the actual color. So it's like a subtle, gl gl glitzy thing. So like I said, put this on top and spice it up a little bit if you would like to. It's been 60 seconds to see if it transfers. Nope. Like I said, it's just got a little bit of glitter from touching this and that's great. So, I guess you can make out with these. I don't know. This song, like I said, definitely transfers. So, as lazy and pussy would call it, you would get devil dust everywhere. And he does not like glitter. It's so funny because I'll have like a glittery lip gloss. I have one from Wet n Wild that's sort of this color, but it's not as. It's Wet n Wild, so it's not. It doesn't feel like very good quality, and you can feel the glitter in it. And I went and kissed him on the cheek, and he's like, God damn it! You got devil dust on me! But, yeah, love it. I love these shades. I am very happy with my purchases. Um, I do want to get some more Jeffree Star shades. I um, wasn't, I'm not into, like, a lot of nude shades, even though these two, I guess, are kind of nude-ish. At least candy acid. Because this, like I said, this was close to my lip color. I know it was metallic. Um, I really want the one, I think it's called Refuse, which is like a dark purplish blue color. And he released a teal I would like to have. Um, I have a hot lacquer, I can't remember the brand, with this weird doe foot and it. it's like really greasy and the color is great but it doesn't dry down. It's greasy and slimy and it's hard to apply. I have the Dr. M from ColourPop and it dries down matte and it's very drying and, and within five minutes it cracks off like paint. Um, I think it was in a ColourPop haul video last year sometime, like middle to late last year. So I've been looking for another teal and his lipsticks are, liquid lipsticks are very good. The ones that I've had, I'm very happy with. So I might look into getting those. Anyway, that was my review of these three products. I hope you liked it. Um, if you have any Jeffree Star products or lipsticks or whatever, let me know and what is your favorite. Um, do you have a favorite color that you think I should get? If you would like me to review any more like colors, I can try to get my hands on them. Um, or any type of makeup. As long as it's not like too crazy expensive. I am not that type of girl. Like Anastasia and Tarte and Too Faced are about as high prices as I go. I don't go for the other mess. Um, cover effects. I do that. I got the liquid like shimmer drops and 
Lunar, I think it is. I wanted Aurora, like I said, because I live in Aurora, and it was an iridescent shade, but they're sold out. Um, but yeah, if there's any makeup you want me to review, just let me know down in the comments. Constructive criticism is always welcome with review videos because I'm still new to reviewing stuff. Um, I can always use the help. And other than that, like, subscribe, and join the pack. We would love to have you here. And until the next one, bye guys. Mwah.